Hello hockey fans of all ages, shapes, and sizes. So it's done. The long-awaited contract for AM35, Mr. Austin Matthews, Big Pappy, uh, is a leaf for five years. Um, I don't know what fans think about it. I'm curious. Uh, just in the Okanagan here, just went for a swim. In the Okanagan Lake, you can see the vines. Uh, as a leaf fan, check. You know, I'm excited. Um, BP on me says true living with the three, uh, 13 point, uh, three or 13.25, whatever. Um, it's, uh, he's the highest paid player in the NHL. I think the four years could set a, a precedence for the future of contracts. I must admit, I was always an eight year guy to think like, oh, you know, since Ajo and Pasta and all these guys signed eight year deals, McDavid, McKinnon, just the list goes on. Um, I was always a fan of that, but when you look at John Tavares, um, you know, his contract looks pretty rich for uh, right now, I guess, in, in context of the team. So uh, the way I look at this whole thing is uh, if I'm a Leafs fan, I'm ecstatic. You got Pappy back for five years. If I'm a Leafs player, like Bertuzzi or Domi coming on board, I think five mil, three mil, roughly around that. Sorry, I didn't do my research today um, before that. But the one thing I wanted to talk about is um, buying a business. When you buy a business, it's all about the money and the term. So you can have one or the other uh, when you're a business seller and the business buyer is going to put terms on you that are going to be uncomfortable uh, or they're going to suggest a price that is uncomfortable. So if I'm a Leafs player, I'm looking at this and uh, if I make a lower salary, like I'm not talking about the core, but, um, and by the way, Willie Styles is like the coolest dude ever. Uh, that's why he's called Willie Styles, but like he's in an interview in Sweden and he's just chill. He's laid back. He's like, yeah, don't worry about my contract. <laughs> It'll figure itself out. So, um, that's why he's Willie Styles. Cause he's the coolest guy on earth. Um, anyway, as a player, I'm like, this is amazing news. Austin Matthews just bought the mansion at the call at the, you know, the corner lot on the cul-de-sac and it's worth $13.25 million. And it's got a three car garage with a bunch of sports cars in it. And you're looking at it as um, Bertuzzi. He's got the $5 million house. Maybe it's middle of the street. Domi's got the $3 million house. And he's like, hey, my house is going to go up in value next year because I'm, uh, I'm one of the lower priced houses on the, like the, you know, the fancy street, right? So if, uh, if they say, you know, I'm not saying Domi at 3 million is a shack, um, you know, maybe some of these other guys, uh, with the ELC or the, um, you know, the, the bet on yourself for one year for like, you know, 850, 900 league minimum kind of thing that, uh, basically they're you know the shack on the street <laughs> and um you're like heck Matthews has the 13.25 million dollar mansion on the corner uh, my house just went up in value so I think as a, a Leafs player you're ecstatic about this because you're getting a raise uh call it the Leaf tax or the you know the Hall of Fame tax or whatever I think um Matthews is probably going to be a Hall of Famer um, his, his jersey will probably be raised in the rafters, uh, people commenting already that he'll surpass Sundin likely in these five years. And then we'll see what's what, right? Maybe he's got a couple cup rings to go with it. Um, I truly believe that, uh, the, I did a podcast earlier about, um, the, uh, muckers and grinders, uh, the top six being so important. I think that, the top six of the Leafs is solid. Um, I think that you give uh, Bertuzzi and Domi tons of top six minutes uh, in the regular season. And then you move them to the third line so they can kick the shit out of all kinds of teams in the playoffs uh, with that mucker and grinder style. Uh, maybe even you move Marner back with Domi and uh, Bertuzzi for like an intermediate line, like a line two, uh, put Tavares up with Matthews or 
who knows, right? I think you got a lot of flexibility with this team. I truly believe they are the odds on favorite. Um, people might laugh at that, but I think um, as well, the elephant in the room, Willie, um, his contract I think is gonna be too rich for the Leafs next year, unless they magically do something else with the off season. But uh, I think he's gonna want 10. I, I posted 10 being his likely number. And if you want to sign him, great. But now that Matthews comes in at 13 point, you know, two five, the big mansion on the corner lot, I think that uh, uh, Willie's going to win the cup next year with the Leafs. And uh, the positivity, the muckers and grinders, the playoff guys that you need, the Revos, who's probably going to fight Lucic, most likely. Hopefully, it's not a bloody assault, but. Um, hopefully it's a spirited bout for the divisional rivals, such as the Bruins. I think that's, uh, those tickets are probably going to sell fast, Leafs Bruins, because of the Lucic Revo potential, uh, bout. Uh, it'll be a definite heavyweight bout. Those two guys are absolute animals. Um, so that'll be interesting to see, um, if they, it's like, to me, in my mind, it's no doubt they're going to scrap. Um, but like I said, hopefully nobody gets hurt. Hopefully it's, a uh, a good heavyweight bout, maybe a couple black eyes and bloody knuckles, but uh, I can't wait to see what the Leafs do this year. Um, I think the President's Trophy is a bit of a curse, so I'm hoping they don't get the President's Trophy. I hope they get the division, playoff advantage, go to the Stanley Cup um, final, and we'll see what's what, right? The West is an absolute gauntlet, so um, yeah. I think that's it for now. Uh, we'll see you next time. Peace.